All right, y'all, welcome back to Common Arms Channel. Now, today's video is going to be a little bit different from the stuff that I normally do, because I would normally be doing a reaction to training or maybe like a historical event or, or what have you, but this is going to be uh, some combat footage. Now, I found this on the uh, Swedish, I don't know if it's the Swedish Defense Forces, but basically the, the Swedish Armed Forces uh, YouTube channel. So it should be pretty legit. I haven't really looked into all of it, but it's cool to do a little bit of reaction to uh, combat videos. Now, if you're not familiar with me, I did spend five years in the Marine Corps Infantry, uh, deployed with them, and then I joined the, the Army Infantry. So I have a, a whole lot of experience as far as different facets of the infantry, different tactics, what have you. And I also have a good uh, appreciation for the operational side of, of the infantry as opposed to just training. So it's definitely good to check out these videos. I don't want to do them too much just because YouTube doesn't generally like uh, monetizing these sort of videos. But uh, it's definitely cool to check it out. And uh, if, if you guys uh, appreciate it, then let me know. And I can definitely do some more of these. But I'm, I'm going to try and not pause the video just to see if you guys uh, appreciate that sort of format a little bit better than me just pausing it a bunch. But yeah, just let me know. If there's something that uh, if I'm trying to be a little bit long-winded or what have you, then I'm, I might pause it. But yeah, I think this should be fine with me just letting it run. So yeah, let's get it kicked off. Okay, so it looks, so this is in Afghanistan, if you couldn't tell. Malakum. <laughs> so they're doing a little uh, hearts and minds. Well, they were they were doing a little bit of hearts and minds. Okay, but come to the front. Let's begin. Let's begin. Yeah. One of the best. Do you hear what I'm going to say? I'm not sure what unit this is, but they seem like they know what they're doing. So they're communicating well, they're getting behind cover, and now they're trying to find out where the dude is that was shooting at him. That's a sick looking rifle too. Couldn't really see how accurate the fire was. Small arms fire! Small arms fire! So he's saying small arms fire, so. I don't know if it was accurate or not, or if it was just pop shots. But I, I like it. they're they're being pretty aggressive right now as far as making moves, so that's good. You know, some decision is definitely better than, than nothing. You can see he's not overexposing himself like too much, so that's solid. So this is pretty much the standard as for what you want to see as far as aggression. So I like what they're doing here. So it looks like they're breaking contact, which means they're they're basically just peeling out of there. Uh, if you can't find them, there's no sense in uh, making yourself in a, or putting yourself in a bad position. So you always want to make it a level playing field. And if you if you don't know where the enemy is, that's not a good start, so. Yep, so they're doing a nice uh, traditional peel, is basically what you call it. So you have uh, awesome security while you're doing this. And it just allows like your whole element to just continue peeling back so you can put yourself in a better position. 
So this is awesome for breaking contact. They're maintaining good dispersion so you can see they're not just bunched up in case, you know, like an RPG lands near them. Yeah, their communication is solid. So they might be pointing something out. Um, that's another big thing when you start taking contact and just immediately trying to find out where people are and directing fire on that location. Yeah, their use of cover is really solid. You can see they're not just stopping in the open. So. These guys are not amateurs. So it looks like they're running out of cover, so they're trying to figure out a good way to to take this uh, this sort of territory. Because it can be pretty hard trying to figure out where you're taking fire from. A lot of people, okay. So a lot of people will think it's very easy to figure out where people are shooting from, like you'll see their flash. But a lot of times when you're talking about Afghanistan and whatnot, people are very far away. It's usually like pop shots or what have you, unless it's like a, an actual ambush. So, I mean, the, everything there looked looked phenomenal. Their, their tactics were solid, their aggression was good, their communication was good. Like the big thing with the infantry in general, they say shoot, move, and communicate. And that's, I mean, if you're, if you're doing that, then you're going to be generally okay. You want to make sure you're moving to put yourself in a better position. Shooting, obviously, just so the enemy is not just, you know, thinking they can do whatever they want. And then communicating so you can, you know, everyone knows what's going on. Uh, you have a sort of like a hive mind. Everyone knows what's about to happen or what have you. And again, at least making a decision is definitely better than just not doing anything at all. So this is was, this was a cool little video. Uh, it looks like it's from... I'm not sure how old it actually is, but it's it's cool. I didn't even like, I've never met um, uh, any Swedes, especially in Afghanistan or what have you, but it, it's cool to see that they're definitely doing it right. Again, I don't know which unit this was, uh, but I mean, I'm, I'm impressed. I was definitely solid. It's definitely something that you would see with, uh, at least on par with what I've seen, you know, with Marines and Army. So uh, yeah, kudos, kudos to them. So that was solid. If you guys have any other cool combat footage you'd like me to check out, definitely send it my way. Again, I don't like to do it too much, but I definitely will start filtering that in if you guys uh, enjoy the video. And let me know what you what you guys think about me talking along with the video. Uh, I think it was okay, but I, I, I like to I feel like I like to talk a little too much. But yeah, just let me know. Um, it's I'm sure we can find a good balance with that. But yeah, um, that's it for this video. Keep the recommendations coming. If you enjoyed it, please uh, like and subscribe, and I appreciate it. So I will see you all in the next video.